What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be diving into customization revisited along with older football titles that are influencing the gameplay of Maximum Football. So buckle up your chin strap and let's go. Now, as you may know, Maximum Football is all about giving players unparalleled control and customization options. Uh, the first thing that I'll get into today is the UI and the choices that could possibly be available to players. And this is something that is very important, the fluidity of the UI. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, let's step right into it. And the first thing that you see before you see anything else in a game is going to be the user interface. And with all the things that uh, Maximum is going to have available to it, it's going to be very important that this is a smooth process. You're going to be able to upload your own images, uh, make your own team name, assign your team name, put the logo where you want to on the helmet, uh, customize the face mask, the stripes on the helmet, uh, like almost everything. So it's going to be vital that this entire process is very understandable, uh, streamlined and smooth for everybody and not that difficult for people to understand because you don't want people to be in your game and be frustrated at actually creating a team just because of the complexity of it. And like I said, you're gonna be able to do everything. You're gonna be able to scroll through all the different type of pants options. You're gonna be able to put the stripes on them. You're gonna be able to customize the gloves, like everything. So this is gonna be almost just as important as gameplay because that's what people are going to see yeah you know you're gonna be able to pick what type of stadium you want uh what your field is going to look like as you can see i snuck in some stuff from axis football i very much love how they have your home field selection you can scroll through all the different types and the different colors of turf yep talking about turf again yeah, and it's coming right up there. It's that red turf. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming right up to the purple. And we have the red right now. Yes, I want to see different colored turf. Well, now, once you get done with that, you're going to get into your next screen where, you know, it's going to be before the season starts. You're going to look at all the different stats, your coach, um, how much money you have, and then you will ultimately be in your team screen. But this is something that is very, very important that I feel like they must nail. It can't look too clunky. It can't be so futuristic that people can't understand it. I think that you really have to look at what games in the past have done and how they have set them up, especially with how much this game is going to have in it. At first, it's just going to be a college game, but then they're going to add a pro aspect on it. and. I'm just curious to see. I have confidence in what they're going to do, but I hope they just don't make it too convoluted. And with that being said, we will roll into the last part of this video where we will be talking about games that are influencing maximum football from the past. And in a recent post on Twitter, uh, Scott posted this. It's probably been said in the past, but is there some previous football title that you are benchmarking this game against or drawing inspiration from? Development manager Micah responded with this. We've been taking inspiration from pretty much every simulation football game on the market. Lately, we have been paying close attention to the responsiveness of the ball carrier in NCAA 14 and the blocking in all pro 2K. Now, if you combine this with the physics-based tackling that they are going to be implementing into maximum football, this is going to make for a uh, very unique experience that I think a lot of gamers have not had in years. Now, NCAA football has hands down had some of the best ball carrier controlling that I myself personally have played in a, a long time or, and I haven't played anything like it since as far as the responsiveness like when you made a move with your running back it happened instantaneously and and it felt right it felt good like you could actually you felt like you were 
actually in control of what you were doing, not like in Madden where you feel like you're being sucked into things. And then when you add in that they're looking at the blocking and line play of all Pro 2K, uh, I don't think that they can go wrong going in this direction. But anyways, this is just a little bit of information that I wanted to bring to you guys. Not too much maximum news out there as of right now, as I am 100% sure that them dudes got their noses to the grindstone looking to deliver a Boston game. <laughs> Quas is going to get on me for saying that. But until next time, this has been Smoking Jay, and I will see you either in the ring or on the field.